a basic drill to, to uh, talk about the position that we'll, we'll you know, basically cover today. It's a variation of the mount. So when you mount, and this variation here can be used in two situations. We're gonna talk about the situation where you're sparring the normal guy, and there's a situation where you're sparring the extremely, more of a really obese person, and you can't even mount like that. And sometimes that happens and nothing, you know, this is very, actually very common. So if you're mounting somebody normal, every once in a while you get in a position either from a spark on his spark or I force the situation in there where he's sideways okay now when he is sideways I do not want to mount like this with both knees because my knees are barely touching the ground right now of course you know I was this low to the ground right now I'm way way higher so I'm off balance so I don't want to do that so whenever he turns sideways and we change it to this sideways type of mount. What I want to do here is that I want to move my knee forward on the back side, meaning so on the same side where his back is facing, that knee will slide forward. On this side here, I'm going to bring my foot up. And when I bring my foot, I don't want it here because that creates space. He can go in there and put half guard. So I want that heel to drag and for that heel to spike uh, against his belly. So right now, this is very tight. To make it even tighter, I don't want to be upright because this allows him to move his arm to the other side. He starts moving. So what I want to do is lay my chest there, or belly, right on his shoulder blade. So as he, if he tries to get out of this position here, this is very, very difficult. Um, the last thing you could do here is have some sort of tilt on his head just to take away some extra power. You don't have to be holding the head and pulling like this, but I would at least put a post on the ground there and just get that head out of alignment. With his head out of alignment, he loses a lot of that bridging power, a lot of that shrimping power, so it kind of kills the escape. So this is the mount that we're gonna be talking about today. With people that are obese, fat for lack of a better word, when you mount them the traditional way, you just can't touch the ground. It just doesn't happen. You find yourself on one knee or the other knee. If you feel like that's how it is, it's that wobbly, just give up the situation even if they are flat on their backs, you're gonna mount the same, the very same way. It's just a better option. At least you got two points of support that are on the ground at all times. The drill that we're gonna do is how to set it up for a situation where I'm, I have the normal mount and I wanna get them sideways and get into this mount. So it's a very simple drill. What I'll do here is I'll decide which side I want up. So let's say I want this side up here, the right side. I'm gonna press down on his wrist. So all I do is apply pressure, I'm assuming this person's not gonna be, you know, he's gonna be protecting himself like that and not giving me a lot of opening. So I push him down on that wrist so that that elevates that elbow. I need a little bit of space in order to do this here, okay? So elbow is tight, hard for me to get in there. So press the wrist down and the elbow comes up, magic. Now I'm gonna drop my body to the other side. So all I did is I dropped my upper body and I wanna make sure that it's not close to the elbow but a little higher there. Now I'll brush that upper body towards the center and that starts rolling. You can see Dango rolling sideways here. So as he's rolling, I'll adjust and get to that position here. Immediately, we're gonna start looking for different attacks here. So it's here, apply pressure downward, that lifts the elbow, go low, bring your chest to the outside of his arm. Now when I brush that chest to the middle, it brings his arm with him, there's pressure on the shoulder, he needs to roll, as he rolls, I adjust. For now, if you just wanna capture the wrist there, that's okay. We'll go back to center, boom, up, right there, spike, so here, here, go back to center, boom. All right, back and forth. 